Hey there, girlfriend. Are you stuck using the same Glamour products that you've been using for years? Then you are in the right place. If you've ever asked yourself, how can you try new Glamour products for free? We will get back to the bottom of that in today's video. We will see you inside. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Inga Faye and I am a beauty enthusiast. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can try Glamour products, new Glamour products without even having samples. How cool would that be? Secondly, we're gonna talk about exactly what you need to do to make this happen. And then we're gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this awesome app that will do exactly what we're talking about for you. Let's do this, shall we? So let's talk about how can you try products on without having samples. I know oftentimes when it comes to us trying new things, we want a sample. We go to the store. You think about when we go to Target. Well, I won't even say Target. Yeah, Target does it too. Target, as well as Costco or even Sam, they have the samples where you can go and try the products before you buy it. This is very similar to what we do in cosmetics. You, you want to try the lipstick on or you want to try the eye color on to see how it looks on your skin tone. But we are in the day of technology, ladies. And we do not have to have samples anymore. We can now do this in the comfort of our homes, in our jammies, with our phones, girlfriend. Yes, 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 yes. How cool would it be for you to be able to try foundation, concealer, even blush by just having an app on your phone to do that? On top of that, what about the eye products, your eyeshadow, your eyeliner, your mascara to see exactly how it's going to look on you? And girl, let's not forget the lip color. You can try the lip gloss, the lipstick, and even lip liner to see what it's going to look like on your lips. Trying before you buy, but not even physically even have it in your hand. You can just have it on a visual display so you can see what it looks like on you. We're gonna show you exactly how to do that today in this video, later in the video. I also want to let you know that you also have the opportunity to try, play with products and to play with the up and coming trends of products too. You get to basically just kind of shop around and determine what kind of things would look, what's, what is trending now and what would look good on you. Now, I'm curious, if you had the opportunity to have access to technology like this, what would be some things that you would want to try? Would it be the foundation or would you do more lip color? Or would you be more of an eye color girl? Comment below and let us know exactly what you would try if you had this technology available to you. We want to know what you want to do first. So now let's kind of talk through exactly how you can go about getting this and what would be needed for you to actually try this out for free, for free, free. All right, so let's talk about this. First and foremost, you need to have a smartphone. It's a smartphone, not a flip phone. So if you got a flip phone, girlfriend, this is not gonna work for you. You need to have a smartphone or even a tablet that you can use this app. Then you want to make sure that you have a forward facing camera that's gonna be able to take a picture of you or even a video of you at, so you can get the, you can see what it looks like on your complexion. So you wanna make sure that you have access to that. You wanna be in a well lit area, girlfriend. So this is not the time for you to be somewhere dark. You gotta have some place that's well lit. I often tell people to go in their bathroom or even go outside and use the natural light. Then you want to make sure that you have your hair pulled away from your face and you don't want to have any glasses on, girl, because we can't put eyeshadow on lenses, right? We want to make sure that your face is um, clean and you are have a neutral expression on your face when you put it on so you can actually see what this looks like on you the products that you try because we have an abundance of different products that you can dabble in and we want to make sure that you can really see what it's going to look like on you. So before we go into this step-by-step -step tutorial where I'm going to actually show you on my phone how this works, I want to remind you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We upload a video every Tuesday for your viewing pleasure and we don't want you to miss a beat so be sure to subscribe. 
So now let's go through this step-by-step -step tutorial, girlfriend, so we can really see how this works. Let me grab my phone really quick and we will go right into this. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, girlfriend, is that you are going to either go to the Play Store if you have an Android, or you're gonna go to the App Store if you have an iPhone. Okay, so once you get to the Play Store, you're going to want to type in Mirror Me. Mirror Me, Mary Kay, okay? So type that in and get that app. Okay, so now you're going to download that app and install it on your phone. Now, I want to let you know, if you have a whole lot of stuff on your phone at this point, you can download the app, practice with me, and then after you're done, just take it off, okay? And then if you want it again, you just download it again because I take stuff off, put stuff back on my phone all the time. So just make sure that you are fully aware of that. So now we have the app. I want you to see the picture of my phone as I'm going through this so you can see exactly how this works. So now the app has been downloaded. We can open up the app. And the first thing that it asked us is that we have to agree to the terms of the app the user agreement and the privacy notice so i'm going to go ahead and just say let's get started and when i did this i uploaded a picture of myself so i took a picture of myself clean face like i described to you initially you want to make sure you have a clean face so like right now that i have makeup this is not what you want to have on because you're not going to really be able to see the true colors so make sure that you take a picture of yourself with no makeup on, or you can use a live camera where you're taking it, a picture, you can see yourself live and just do it live. So you get, it's either or. But when I did this earlier, I made sure that, took a picture in a very well lit area. And as it as you see on this um, picture, it's, it's actually showing you what the best experience is that you wanna make sure that it's well lit, your, your face is away. I mean, your hair's away from your face, you don't have your glasses on and it's well lit. So you just hit okay. And then it says allow. Okay, so you, I'm allowing them to check out my photos and then I'm going to pull up my picture. So I have my picture, my face is there and we're ready to roll. So we're gonna move on. And the first thing that I wanted to try out y'all was the foundation. So I chose, I went to the um, hamburger up at the top. So go ahead and click that there and I hit foundation. Now I know my foundation shade is a bronze three. I typically wear um, cream to powder. And um, so that is what I chose when it came to this. So I have the endless performance cream to powder that I chose. I chose that one and the bronze three is the, uh, the third one to the to the end so I chose that and then I selected that color and I, I clicked on the face that has it all over my face not just on my forehead and my nose so that's what I've chosen and then you see the side button it says coverage so I'm gonna inch that up as I go just so I can see the coverage as it comes on and you can see it it, it makes the makeup really come on my face that I can really see the difference. I know the first couple of times that I was doing this, I really couldn't see the difference. Um, but as I put the coverage on, I was like, oh, that's how you do it. So I want you to know this, you don't have to be a rocket science to make this uh, work. It, you know, this is strictly fun. You can play with it and just move the coverage up and you can actually see the makeup on my face when I do that. So I put on the bronze three. That's the first thing that I did. So I had to have my foundation on first. All right. So then what I did next is um, I moved, I did the hamburger again up at the top. And then I decided that I wanted to try on some lipstick. Now I have my favorite lipstick and I just wanted to see if it would look as good as it is on me and live and live in color as it is on this app. So I chose the lipstick and I went under the uh, semi shine lipstick. So I clicked that. And one of my favorite colors that I think looks great on pretty much everybody is the luminous lilac. So I chose the luminous lilac to put on my lips. And again, you can use that coverage thing again. It's gonna really enhance the luminous lilac as you put it on. 
And that's what I did here. And then you can see the luminous lilac on my lips. Doesn't that look good? Yes, I love that color. Absolutely love it. So now I have my foundation on and now I have on my lips. So then I was just like, okay, now what I wanna do is I want to put on some eyeliner is what I chose next. So I chose the eyeliner. I normally use the gel eyeliner. So that's what I chose. So that's the one right in the middle. And I, you got to tap on that color. And then initially I had put on that first eye. So I had um, eyeliner on the top as well as the bottom, but I was, I was looking crazy. So I decided not to do that. So I chose that third option, um, well, the, really the second option to apply the eyeliner and then you got that coverage thing again where you can put it on heavy or you can put it on light so that's what i chose and i put it on a little heavy so you can actually see the eyeliner so doesn't that look good i just put it on the top so that's really cool and you can just kind of press the different eyes just to see the effect of what it looks like on you like i said i initially i put it on with both the top and the bottom and i just really didn't like the way that looked so I, I just kept it on the top and then I, I messed with the coverage button to move it up to make it more intensified um, so I could really do that. Just similar to what you, we would do in real life. You can make your line thicker, you can make your line thinner, but I wanted to make it a little thicker because um, my, my eyebrow, not eyebrows, my uh, lashes are kind of sp uh, not as full as I would like and they're not really long, they're kind of wimpy. So, I can enhance my eyes more by putting thicker uh, eyeliner on. At least that's what I think in my mind. So that's what I did. That's what I did. All right. So then you hit the hamburger again. And then I was like, okay, so now I'm going to put on some mascara. So I tried the mascara and I chose my favorite, which is the Fanorama, which is that first one. I clicked that. Make sure you got to click the uh, color to make sure it goes on. And then I applied the... Um, the mascara on and then it gave me my lashes so I thought that was cool with my eyeliner so you can see the way that looks here on the other side of me so then I was like okay now I can tell you the first time I played with this I tried to put on three colors and I really looked a hot mess as far as eyeshadow that's what I mean as far as three colors um so I decided just to stick with one color when I demoed this for you guys because I didn't want you guys to be like, oh my gosh, you know, that looks crazy. I know it looked crazy to me. That's why I didn't do it. So I went and I just chose one eye color and it was the shiny penny. That's something that I wear on a regular basis. And I just chose one eye color. So you see that one that came up. So it only allows that um, that shiny penny on my eyes. And then of course you can intensify it with the coverage or you can lower it down, but that is the look. It gave, I have on my foundation now, I have on my luminous lilac lipstick, I have my um, gel eyeliner on, my um, Fanorama lip, I mean Fanorama um, mascara as well as shiny penny and that's the final look doesn't that look good and the great thing about it now is that you can share this on your social media platforms you can text it to um, your folks whoever that is if you want to text it to somebody you have the opportunity to just download it on your phone just so you would know what it looks like so if you were to buy the products you could it also gives you the option to actually add your products to the cart so you see it says add to bag so you could just add the products that you want to the bag and then what it does is just sends it over to me and lets me know exactly what you want and then i can send it off to you if you are not here local or you can come pick it up um and get it from me but i just thought that was so cool for you to be able to try different things see what it looks like on you and not have to have any samples which is absolutely wonderful so you can just dabble with different products you can try different lip colors you can try different eye colors you can try mascaras find out if you're really looking for something that's really going to give you length you can uh, try maybe the Lash Love Lengthening Mascara and see if that really works for you and see what it looks like on your eyes. You can compare it to the 
to the lash intensity or you can compare it to the panorama. You can do whatever you want, girlfriend, but you can all do it on an app. And all you have to do is just take a picture of self or you can do a live video with no makeup on and just kind of dabble and play with makeup. Okay. So I'm hoping that this was a blessing to you. If you are interested in playing with the app and then you want us to meet up, I did put in the description a shake up your makeup bag. And I love that type of appointment because then it'll allow you to see what you already have in your stash and then what you would either want to swap some stuff out for or potentially um, just buy something extra for what you to ex further expand your collection, you can do that as well. So if you're interested in sending me your stuff and then doing a shake up your makeup bag uh, type of virtual appointment, you're welcome to do that. The link is in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now, girlfriend.